previously on Daisy of Love. Fight! I'm letting Daisy have me 100%. Daisy, I'm falling in love with you. Aww. You looking at me as 12-pack, I feel like I can't get to you. I can't talk to you like that. He started to let his wall down, and I'm starting to see a different side of him. I will call you Dave. Well, I want you to call me Dave every time I see you. You have a phone call. This is your girlfriend, Jenna. I'm not ready to see that girl cry again. This is for what I want. Do you respect me for what I want? Is that your old lady? <laughs> Fox. I think you're hot, and I thought we had a connection. But you know what? Out. Wow. She actually stood up for herself. He loves me. He loves me not. It's a new day, we're down to five, and I'm sure as hell glad Fox is not up in the running anymore. Me and Sinister both made it through eliminations, thank God. This is gonna be a tough one for both of us. I hope we can keep our friendship strong. Hey guys, come on in here. Hi guys, as you all know, I love my girlish figure, but I also love me some food. So, I need a man who can cook, because God knows I can't. Um, I can't say I'm the best cook. My signature dish is trailer park pizza. It's a piece of bread with uh, ketchup and a piece of cheese on top. And you basically uh, set it in the sun for long enough to melt the cheese, and then you eat it. You're gonna have two hours to prepare a five-course meal. Each one of you is gonna be responsible for one of the courses. I'm thinking, Oh, crap. I hope Daisy likes ramen. I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that some of you guys probably have absolutely no idea how to cook, and you'd probably burn ice. So, we have got some experts with us. You are responsible for doing everything, but they are here to answer any questions and help you. I saw the caterer stand there in all black, ready to help us out. There was a couple cute girls there, but you know what? We're not here for that. The winner of the challenge will obviously get a date with moi. I have been trying to show Daisy a different side of me, and now this is my chance to prove to her that I have great cooking skills, even though I don't. Please do not burn down my kitchen, and I'm very excited, and I can't wait, and I will see you guys all at dinner. As soon as they announced that we got to start the challenge, everybody just picked a sheet, and whatever you had on your sheet, that's what you were cooking. What'd you got? Chicken cordon bleu. Let's go. All right, what do you got? Red velvet cake. <laughs> oh, good luck with that. I got like well, the probably the hardest thing. Lasagna, dude. Lasagna. <laughs> nice. What'd you get? French onion soup. Ha ha ha. Some zucchini. I grabbed zucchini quiche, so that's exactly what I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna make it the best zucchini quiche you ever put in your mouth. Six chicken breasts? She's gonna eat six chicken breasts? Chicken cordon bleu. I was like, what the hell is that? And it turns out it's chicken with some ham and cheese. It's a saute. What the hell is chicken bouillon? Where the hell is the cornstarch at? What the hell is whipping cream? Red velvet cake. I'm assuming that it's gonna be red. You do wonders with a spoon. I'm kind of getting a feeling that uh, this guy might like me a little more than uh, my cooking skills. You're a little too hot. Do it slow over. Yeah, it's kind of flattering, uh, you know. Hey, guys think I look good? I mean, hey, I'm not mad at you. It's getting hot in this kitchen there, ladies. You gotta chop your onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, my eyes. I am gonna start crying. I look over at Chi Chi. Guy's crying. I don't even think it's from the onions. Oh. You crying? No. <laughs> Keeping it together. Does baby need his bottle? I'm pound chicken breast, so I'm gonna pound my chicken breast right now. Pound that breast. I'm gonna pound the <laughs> out of this breast. <laughs> I start pounding the meat to tenderize it, and I'm starting to get a boner. I feel like emerald in this place. Damn. Turned out to be pretty fun. Okay. This will be really, really interesting if we can actually pull this off. That's hot, boy. 
Ooh. I decided to mold a heart shaped quiche for Daisy. I'm gonna win this challenge and Daisy's definitely gonna know. I'm cooking and it's all from the heart. I will add that while it's cooking. I, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, I really don't, but I'm just like focused on lasagna right now. <laughs> Sinister is going to work on this lasagna. He looks like Chef Boyardee chopping these things up into pieces over here. He doesn't even look up from the counter for about an hour. Nice. Beautiful. I want to overdo it on the candles. I want Daisy's table to be perfect. I want champagne ready to go. I want candles lit. I ordered rose petals. So I think this is a challenge I'm going to win for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. 10 minutes and 10 minutes done. I'm pretty surprised the cooking went as well as it did because who would have known you throwing a bunch of freaks and muscle heads in the kitchen and you get a fine meal out of it. Very nicely done, gentlemen. Hi. How are you doing, baby? Something smells amazing. All look very, very lovely. Very you too. Good. The challenge was for everybody to prepare a different course for this five course meal. And who prepared the quiche? That's me. I ain't never made no dish like this, and I just can't wait to see how uh, Daisy likes uh, what I made for her. Aw, oh, thank you. What is quiche? <laughs> <laughs> Zucchini quiche. I'm not a big quiche eater myself. Is it supposed to be runny? Uh I'm starting to feel a little nervous right now. Very nice bigger guy. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie. It was delicious. Uh, I never had uh, squish, what is it called? <laughs> squish. <laughs> never had squish. squish. I've never had squish souffle before. Very nice bigger guy. Thank you. She really liked it. I did a good job, so I was pretty proud. I've never made French onion soup, but I would never give up the opportunity to make Daisy happy. How's the soup? It's very good, actually. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Delicious. It didn't come out of a can? You made it from scratch? Oh, sure. Yes, sir. Very, it was very good. good. Anytime I can make Daisy happy is a good day for me. What is course number three? Lasagna. What is what is that, though? It's a little skull. There's a skull on it. Like, a skull and crossbones like poison, so I'm a little nervous. I hope he doesn't poison me. Yum! Daisy seems like she likes lasagna. Mwah. What's the next course? Chicken cordon bleu. Chicken cordon bleu. What is chicken cordon bleu? Um, ooh, it's a, wait, is it supposed to be pink? Yes, there's, there's ham in there. Oh, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I am really actually shocked right now. I mean. This is good. Good job, man. All of you guys so far. Very amazing. All the food's great. Everybody's tastes amazing. I'm a little worried now. We have one more course. <clears throat> we do have one more course. I think I'm ready for your cake. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah. There is no way that 12-pack has cooking skills. Come on, he's a professional douchebag. What I have for you is a red velvet cake. I'm a little nervous because I've never cooked a red velvet cake, and I certainly didn't use any velvet. Red velvet cake equals orgasm. Mm -hmm. yeah. This might be the best I've eaten since I've been here. I know Daisy likes her sweets. 12 bag, she's a sweet guy. There's no way I'm not gonna win her heart. Thank you all. I did not expect this. I'm sorry, but like I was like, I was scared. I thought I was gonna get to rip everybody to shred for making such garbage, but this is uh, <laughs> really good. <laughs> so originally I planned that whoever impressed me the most with this challenge was gonna go on a date with me, but they were all really impressive, and I, I don't know who to pick. It's a super tough decision, because all the food is really good, and that makes it harder. I really just, like, I just I can't decide right now, you know? It's really rough. You guys all did a good job. Right. You guys did a really There's good no job. There's no clear-cut winner. And I'm sort of, I need your guys' help. So I'm thinking right now, I want to hear from each of you, who do you think is the most compatible and the least compatible with me. She asked us to pick a winner based on who's most compatible and who's least compatible. 
You know, that just makes me feel as uncomfortable as humanly possible. And I'm sorry, but I don't want you to say yourself, because, you know, that's sort of... Uh, Chi-Chi, I want to start with you. Daisy tells us that she can't pick a winner because we all did so good, and I'm sitting there like, I just cooked you chicken cordon bleu. I don't care what anybody else cooked you. Mine turned out the best, and that made me angry. Uh -huh. Coming up. Sinister, what do you think? Um, <sighs> Who's the best for Daisy at this table other than yourself? Say it. This is going to be rough. Oh. And later, when I see them two walk off, that just makes me real angry. Oh, I'm tired. Sinister is throwing a temper tantrum. the most compatible and the least compatible with me. And I'm sorry, but I don't want you to say yourself, because, you know, that's sort of... Uh, Chi-Chi, I want to start with you. Uh, I'm obviously going to tell her the truth, no matter what. Most compatible, if it's not me, I would pick Sinister, because he has um, the same lifestyle as you. Well, you always say Sinister, Chi-Chi, and that's kind of why That's an you're... honest opinion. I know, I'm I know, honest. brother, I know, I know. No shock there. It's like, Sinister can do no wrong in Chi-Chi's eyes. I mean, is Chi-Chi in love with Sinister? And least compatible, I would have to say Big Rig. Chi-Chi says I'm the least compatible. I'd really like to slap him in his little pretty mouth. Off, dude, you don't know about me. Just because you're from LA and stuff, he's from the South. I'm a little nervous to throw Big Rig under the bus because he mentioned one time he doesn't mind going to prison and he could probably break my neck. So, Sinister, what do you think? I would agree with Chi Chi saying Big Rig. Um, I would say. Oh, this is on the spot right here. Man, I don't want to say this. I don't want to sit here and tell her who's best for her. I don't know. <clears throat> You know, I, I, who's the best choice for Daisy? Who's the best for Daisy at this table other than yourself? Say it. I would say Flex. <laughs> I didn't choose Chi Chi because I just cannot see their connection yet. <clears throat> she what is it? What is it? Chi Chi's bond. So now, dinner goes from dinner to a soap opera. Will Sinister and Chi Chi's friendship be shattered forever? Oh my God! Will Dave realize that 12-pack is an evil twin? Oh! Will a skunk return with a vengeance? Oh! Find out next time on Daisy of Our Lives. Kiss you, no, not yet. Yes, no, yes, no. I have no clue what to do. I know Chi Chi's upset because I didn't say him, but I just had to go with what I was feeling, and man, this sucks. This is such a. Hey. Yeah. You alright? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to the bathroom, dude. You sure, dude? Yeah. I hate to feel like I threw him under the bus by not picking him, but like, I don't know. I think he's pretty hurt. I get pretty emotional and I try to hide from everybody in the bathroom. I thought about it, and I can't judge people for being honest. So I want to go out and show Sinister that it's OK, and uh, we're still friends. Ridiculous. Uh. This is crazy right now. I mean, I feel like I'm in a movie or a TV show. <laughs> All right, um, Big Rick? Besides myself, I would, I would have to say um, Flex is a good, a good 
I do. I respect him a lot, even though he is young. Worst, I would about to say Chi Chi only because emotional wise, I don't know if he could if he could really handle you. I think it's okay for a guy to be sensitive. I don't really care, um, so I'm a mama's boy, whatever. And I mean that's just the way I feel. I ain't got to think about any of it, anything else about it. Dave. Dave? Who's Dave? That's what he wants to be called now. And I Dave? I respect That's that. That's his name. That's his name. Okay. Talk <coughs> <to you. laughs> Can someone kill me? Please? If I could picture you with anyone in this house aside from myself, I would have to say Flex. Because I could I could see you with him more so than anyone else. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He's, he's an intelligent dude. He knows what he wants. I, I think Lee's compatible. I'd have to say Chi Chi. I just don't think, you know, he's ready for a girl like yourself. Flax. I'm gonna go with who I don't think that she should be with first. Okay. Uh, Chi Chi. I'm sorry, man. I just, as far as compatibility, besides myself, I would have to go with 12 pack. Just be, or Dave, just because he has a steady job. He could take care of you. He's been through this before. I'm really, really glad that I asked these guys for their opinions on who they thought was the most compatible and least compatible, because it opened my eyes up to some things that maybe I wasn't aware of at first. It's time for me to make a decision, obviously, on this. This was a challenge. What I've decided is I am going to take Flex on a date. Wow, these guys are actually starting to realize who is most compatible for Daisy. I am so happy right now. Chi Chi and Big Ray, I'm also gonna take you guys on a date tomorrow too. I'm not worried if that it's gonna affect the way she views me, but I definitely know that it's uh, not a good thing that someone thinks I'm least compatible for. I wanna thank you all for dinner again. It was amazing. If Flex is the most compatible with me, then I certainly want to spend some time with him. And if Big Rig and Chi Chi are the least compatible with me, then I gotta cut to the chase and figure out if I feel the same way. I will see you all later. Coming up, let me show you how Cupid does it. Maybe Flex will shoot an arrow through my heart. <laughs> what the? <laughs> he just killed the neighbor. And later. There's only one of me. I'm feeling like I'm being attacked. I'm so stressed and torn. It's not fair. That. Hey, let's go outside. Come on, everybody. Let's go outside. Let's go. Let's roll. At this point, I'm just mad that I had to cook lasagna and nothing came of it. But, like, whatever, man. I'm ready to start drinking and have a good time. A few of these guys are going to get to go on a date with me tomorrow. But the night is still young, and I want to hang out with my boys. <laughs> Grabbed the guitar, and I started playing a little bit, and she like got close to me and kind of was enjoying herself. And it felt really good to like not be so serious for a second, and we'd be a good match, because we could just party together and forget about everything else. I'm calling it a night. I'm, fire's burning me. Yeah. Right, well, give me a hug. But thanks for hanging out with us. So much fun. Hey. Okay, take me. Damn yeah, right, come on. You know what? I think it's time to spend some alone time with Dave. Slash 12 pack. Yeah, All right, come on. I feel gay as hell. When I see them two walk off together, and that just makes me real angry. Can I not bring in the vodka? I'm sorry, 12 pack took that up to Daisy's room. My bad. Did he really? Yep. So. Well, I'm going to get it. How's that sound? I don't care what's going on right now. I decide that I'm going to stir a little bit up. <laughs> I'll be back. Stay there. I'm not going anywhere. Who's knocking? Someone's at your door. Somebody just knock? Yeah. Time to hook his boy up a little bit. Who? Hook your boy up a little bit, would you? Sinister opens the door, and he's clearly upset. And he's invading my privacy right now, because you know what? I'm here with Tall Pat. Dave. Dave. I'm trying to make some shots oh. for me, my friends here. <laughs> he goes hook his boy. What do you mean? You want the vodka. 
That's like a lot of vodka. <laughs> okay, stop. You guys got plenty. You guys have a good night. It's like, all right, enough. <laughs> have fun. Sinister is throwing a temper tantrum right now, and I don't have patience for that. I mean, really? Battlestar Dramatica. But I didn't appreciate those two sneaking off together. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. He seemed pissed off. I don't get why people get on like that. It's hard for me right now. Every time I turn around, someone's leaving or some Happens. I don't think anyone here is going anywhere. It's like, what did I do? Like, why wasn't I amazing enough? Stop it. Smile. I know Daisy is very upset right now, and what I gotta do is just remind her that there are actually some normal people out here who aren't gonna sit there and flip a every time something doesn't go their way. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired too. I'm tired too. If you need to call somebody or just talk to somebody and have somebody there for you, I want to be that person that you call up. I really dig being alone with Tolpa slash Dave because he's, he has a really calming vibe to him. <laughs> Who is that? Woo! Is that Sinister? Sounds like a white one. What is with all the interruptions? Clearly, Dave slash Tallback and I are not gonna get any peace and quiet, so we might as well just go back outside. Let's go. Wait. Why does he always get the last laugh, dude? Woo! Five guys left? No, I heard it. Okay. I thought you guys were sleeping. I thought you guys were sleeping. Who? You guys. No. We're well, just talking. You're tired. Let me tell you something. I think with you and 12 pack, he's a sexy dude or whatever, and like I just feel like your sexual attraction is towards him. And dude, it hurts. I would love to be pulled off to the side, and made out with, and all that kind of. I came I purposely to spend time with you. There's only one of me. You no, know and maybe I feel that way because I'm insecure. I'm insecure too, but I need you all to be strong because. I'm having a hard time being strong. I'm being strong as Okay, good. Sinister is upset because he's not as good looking and don't have any muscles and his nuts got cut off a long time ago. Look, you made it clear you're like, I'm going to bed and then you go upstairs with 12 pack. What the am I supposed to think? I don't know what to do. I don't know who's gonna bail, who's no real, bailing. who's not hey, real. David. Like right now, like David. I don't know what the hey, to feel. Listen. I'm so stressed and torn out of for hey. everything right now. I don't know what to do. You know what? Right now, I'm feeling like I'm being attacked and it's not fair. And you know what? That. There's only one of me and I'm doing the best I can. <sighs> Ever, dude. I feel like such a jerk for doing that now, but then I feel like I should be able to express my feelings. I don't know if I made a mistake. Daisy, please, Daisy, please, please, no, please, no, please. Okay. I, I just need some time for it. Look, look, look. Coming up. If I had my way, he would go home. Wow. I came here for Daisy. If my best friend's gonna go home, I'd rather it be now than later. If he's my friend, he'll understand that. And later, you're a they, violent person. I'm not, not a violent so. person. These guys are like opposite ends of the spectrum. I don't we'll give a damn it. who All likes right, it or I mean, not. That's what I'm going to say. Because when I'm talking, I'm talking. Too. It's a side of bigger I haven't seen yet. I got to get to the bottom of it. There's only one of me, and I'm doing the best I can. <sighs> I don't know if Daisy felt like sorry for me or something, but she started crying and she's like walking away alone and I just feel so bad. I just, I wanna say at least one more thing to her before she goes away. Like I know your mind's spinning like a top. And I... It is, you don't understand how- I'm so sorry, okay? I'm torn in this direction all the time because I can't help the way I'm feeling right now. Sinister grabs me and tries to apologize and I appreciate it, but it doesn't change the fact that right now I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. I'm gonna go to bed. For real. I had so much fun tonight. Me too. I really wish I didn't ruin it. 
I'm just telling her everything that I feel, and I just feel so bad. I just feel like I should have quit while I was ahead. I'm sorry. <sighs> Stupid. I wake up in the morning and after last night's crazy argument, like, I'm not feeling so good right now. I'm just gonna keep to myself and try to think of what I'm gonna do to pull myself out of this one. Yep. Hi. What's happening? Last night, Sinister made me cry and it really hurt my feelings, but don't wanna let it ruin my day. Today, I have set up a great date with the guy that everyone thinks could be the most compatible with me, Flex. It's time to find out just how compatible we really are. I'm rather excited about this. So I meet Daisy for our date, and she takes me outside, and what else is there but Robin Hood and a big target across the pool. So you're looking for love, huh? Yeah. Yes. Let me show you how Cupid does it. We get to shoot arrows, and I love to do dangerous and crazy things, and who knows, maybe Flex, like Cupid, will shoot an arrow through my heart but hopefully not literally. This right. is for love. Yeah. Shoot it. Ah! Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Let it go, let it go. Ah! There we go. I'm a professional bow and arrow person. Ah! I'm gonna walk around for the rest of the day with this thing in my head. Yeah, you gotta do a way to eliminate people. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Like, you know what? All right, keep it down. Ah! All right, sir. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just killed the neighbor. Okay, every time you hit the target, you get a kiss. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Feet like this. So just remember. We gotta hit this one. Shot the bone arrow. That worked oh. out really, really well. <laughs> <laughs> Even when he misses the target, I give him a kiss. Great shot, man. Great shot. Thank you so much, Don. Right. You I gotta appreciate come it. back and do it some more. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Starting to like champagne, so that's rubbing off on me. Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we sit down to lunch, and instead of being the funny guy that she knows, I decided to be more the real flex, let her know a little bit about me. Were you surprised that everyone said that you were the best for me? No. I have nothing that anybody can really call me on besides the fact that I'm young. Flex, I can see that there's more to him than just muscles and humor. What kind of person do you think that you're like looking for you now? I feel that you're what I'm looking for. And all the little things that you do, like coming into my bathroom and us in the limo and like that, it's just like, oh my God, she's so cool. I was able to open up on a different level with Daisy today, and I think that we connected more knowing the fact that I do have a sentimental side inside. I love kissing you, by the way. Oh, you do? <laughs> That's my favorite part. Okay. Will you walk into my room? I will, definitely. I'm seeing why Flex might just be the most compatible for me. And that's exciting. Come in! So I go up to see Daisy to let her know that I'm sorry for acting the way I did, and I hope that she'll forgive me. At this point, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> just feeling really bad about last night. I reacted a little bit. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Me and Chi Chi. I'm here for you, okay? I am. If I had my way, he would go home. Wow. I came here for Daisy, and if my best friend's gotta go home in order for that to happen, I'd rather it be now than later. If he's my friend, he'll understand that. And I feel something strong, and I know that if I act upon it, that maybe something great will happen. I've been waiting to hear that from one of them for a long time. I know he wants what I want. And what I want is you. Oh man, I was in the doghouse, I worked myself out of it, I'm back. I think that the conversation that we had might send Chi Chi home, but at the same time, it's ultimately up to her. Peace. The fact that Sinister thinks that I should send Chi Chi home tells me a lot about him. And I'm really glad that Sinister has the guts to say it. So, I still have one more date to go on with Big Rick and Chi Chi. These are the two guys that everyone thinks are the least compatible for me. I need to figure out why. What's up, Daisy? Are you ready for a date? Yes. Good. I think the way I got the date is uh, a crock of But it is a date. So, let's go. 
I don't care that I'm least compatible for her and all the guys' opinions. What really matters is Daisy's opinion. Thank you. Hello. We take the guys to a bar, the whole place to ourselves, where we can just really chill and talk. This date is, it's a little weird for me, I'm not gonna lie. That's cool. You are the two guys in the house that everyone thinks are the least compatible for me. Chi Chi, sometimes I feel like you might be a little bit too needy. Needy, like I don't know what you mean. Like if we went out and guys like hit on you and buy you drinks, I think it's awesome. Like it's good for your self-esteem when guys like flirt with you and stuff. Like I'm not needy like that. If some guy comes up to me when I'm with my girlfriend and offers to buy her a drink, that son of a bitch better make it too, or he's gonna be my d I tell him to go himself. You're a that, violent person. I'm not, not a violent so. person. I could get violent right now if I want to, but I'm not gonna do that. That's stupid. Whatever. I'm the strongest person in this house, bro. And I don't Maybe give a I damn. Am who, I don't give needy. a damn who All likes right, it or I mean, not. And that's like just the way. That's what I'm gonna say. Because when I'm talking, I'm talking. Too. You see what I'm saying? That is a side of Big Rig that I have not seen yet, and I think I need to get to the bottom of it. Big Rig, being able to be able to handle your feelings and emotions is a huge thing because I grew up in a household that wasn't, you know, there was constantly fighting and turmoil. Um, yeah, I can control control it to a real extent. Pin. Is that your old lady? Opposite ends of the spectrum. Chi Chi, cute little chihuahua. Big Rig, big giant pit bull. You know what, Chi Chi, I just, I feel like sometimes I, I get confused. You try to help Sinister, and then at the same time, you're telling me that you're in love with me. Yeah. I don't understand. So Daisy questions why I'm here again and just pretty much drills me if I'm here for Sinister or for her. I'm tired of defending myself. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I want you to be happy. This is for you to find true love. And that's my goal too. Having you both here, it's getting really hard. Then you're gonna have to make the decision. Are you kidding me? Chi Chi is really devoted to Sinister and that is great. But I need to know, it's a big deal to me. Is he here for me or is he here for Sinister? I can't handle this and I need to get out of here right now. Excuse me. Right now I'm thinking I should have kept my mouth shut. So I come home from my date and I am more confused than I think I have ever been before. I need to talk to Ricky and I need some advice ASAP. Hi there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the part of the show where I, Ricky Rackman, give Daisy great advice, and then Daisy does the complete opposite. Who'd you go out on a date with? I went on a date with Flex, and I had a date after okay. that with Big Rig and Chi Chi. It's clear that Big Rig is falling in love with you. Daisy, I'm falling in love with you. Are you possibly falling in love with him? That's a really, really good question. I know. Some interesting things happen with Chi Chi and Sinister. I know that Chi Chi has feelings for me, but I just feel like deep down, like he really feels like Sinister is the best guy for me. I agree with Regardless you. Regardless of whatever. 100%. I agree 100%. Well, I packed all my stuff just in case I get eliminated tonight, because there's a big chance I'm going home. I always back up Sinister because he's my best friend, and that's what friends are for. They get each other's back and to support them 100% no matter what. Sinister talks to me, on the other hand. He is totally like, I am the guy. I know that both of these guys do have feelings for you, but I think tonight would be the time to separate that Sinister Chi Chi thing. You need to figure which one of those two guys you want to have stay here. So let's do it. OK, Ricky. I think Ricky's right. In order for me to get closer to either Sinister or Chi Chi, one of them's got to go. Coming up, I'm pretty worried right now because I really feel that it's either me or Sinister going home. We have two really awesome guys left. Unfortunately, tonight, one more person has to leave. <sighs> Thank you.
I'm pretty worried right now because I really feel that it's either me or Sinister going home. But if Sinister goes home tonight, it's gonna really suck. I really want my best friend here. What else do I have to prove? I'm the baddest in this house right now. This is like crazy intense for me tonight, guys. Unfortunately, tonight, one more person has to leave. <sighs> In the beginning of this, I didn't expect this person to stick it out this long. And he definitely continues to surprise me. I really feel like we took it to the next level. So, flex. I knew we had a connection outside tonight. I am so happy right now. Um, will you stay in this house and possibly be my rock star? Of course. Okay. Dave, AKA 12 Pack. 12 Pack, of course. It's a chain. And I, I, I'm sick of this kid. I just don't know what to do about it anymore. So I'm sexy too. Hook me up. Next, chain is for someone that I feel is just feeling insecure and I really think they shouldn't. Sinister. You know, it feels great to get a chain, especially since it's not because I want a challenge or something, it was because of the connection that we had when I talked to her. Will you stay in this house and be my rock star? I am your rock star. I'm feeling so sad right now. She wants this guy to stay so bad, but deep down inside, I wish Sinister would have been eliminated tonight. And um, I feel bad even saying that. We have two really solid, awesome guys left. And I have one freaking chain. There's one chain left, it's me and Big Rick. Maybe on the date today, I should have kept my mouth shut. I'm a little worried. Only the simple fact that maybe I'm not kissing her like everybody else is. Oh my gosh. It actually came down to me and Chi Chi, the two that everybody thought that was least compatible. Why shouldn't this chain be mine? <sighs> Chi Chi, I know you have feelings for me, but I still can't help but wonder if you feel like Sinister is the best choice for me. I just feel like deep down, you know, do you feel like I'd be better off with Sinister? I just, I didn't, I just, I really do not know right now. I'm not here for my best friend anymore like I was in the beginning. Now I'm here for her. Chi Chi is a weak-minded person, and Daisy would stomp all over his ass. It's time for him to go home. Big Rig, I just feel like maybe we aren't the most compatible, and we might come from two different worlds. <sighs> this is so hard for me right now, I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt either one of you. This chain is For Chi Chi. <sighs> I mean, why do I even try? Seriously. Before I officially give you this chain, I want to know that you're here because you want to be here and not because of any other reason, not you're for someone else to help You're the only them. reason that I'm here right now, Daisy. I promise, I swear on everything. All right, will you stay in this house and be my rock yes. star? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, baby. Sinister, Chi-Chi, there's a strong possibility that this may be the last time you both get a chain. Now that's more like it. Bengar, will you please come down here? I want, I want to, I really, really, I just, I wish that I was falling in love with you. That's cool. I understand that. Please, can I have a hug? Yeah. 
I'll give you that. That's Thank fine. you. As sweet as Big Rig is, I'm just not falling in love with him, and I don't think he's really that compatible with me. And I like the fact that Chi Chi, he's considerate, and he's caring, and he makes me feel like I'm loved and wanted, and I like that. This is damn bull man. Was I feeling love for? Yeah, I was feeling it was real. I got tears coming out of my head. That's real. for all of us. There's only four of you guys left right now. It's like, it's crazy. One of you is definitely gonna be my guy. Man, at this point, you know, Chi Chi's in the house. Like, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling mad, I'm feeling glad. I'm like, I have all these emotions running through my head right now. I want everyone to come down here. Now that Big Rig's going home, we got the final four left and we got the big guys in the alliance, and we get the small guys in the alliance. And the thing is, is who alliance is gonna be strong enough to bring us to the finals? I wanna give a toast to the final four and to finding love. So here's to you guys. Maybe I'll just take you all home. Next time, you know what? I might just get hurt again today. Oh my God, we're gonna Daisy, you just killed Flex. I am pissed off right now because of all the stuff I've been through for this girl, and she's still thinking about this douchebag. My turn. My turn. What is he doing? Staying the night in front of the door has never happened before. Genius move. I just want to let you guys know something really, really unexpected happened to me today. Someone came to see me today. Please, no ex-girlfriend, nothing stupid like that. Could you come down here for a second? Are you kidding me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, bring your attention to the center of the room. What the? Is that, dude? You sound like a little half guinea pig monkey. You can't do it. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, you do. No, you looked ugly. Why'd you try then? <laughs>